Hello guys, my name is uh, Nilatri Nihar Nanda and uh, I am into telecom uh, in different technologies like LTE, 3G and 2G uh, since more than 13 years. There are so many requests from you people uh, to start an online class so today here I am. Uh, we will be starting from the latest technology that is LTE right now. I would like to give you some uh, LTE radio or the air interface features and the basic functions of LTE, how LTE works. So in this uh, starting class, we'll be starting from LTE air interface and the features. So let's go for it. Uh, I think you are excited and uh, let's go to watch all the features and how normally the LTE uh, works in a radio interface. The radio interface is called the UU interface in LTE. So we'll be understanding the basic features and technology behind uh, the uh, E-Node-D and uh, the UE or the users basically. So let's uh, see the pictorial rep representation of the radio interface and the features. So one by one I'll explain you uh, the radio interface features and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you. Let's go for it. Okay guys, so these are the different features of uh, the LT uh, radio. So starting from the bandwidth that is scalable in LT, we can use any bandwidth starting from 20 megahertz to 10 megahertz, 5 megahertz or even it is 1.4. So whatever bandwidth is available with us uh, with the operator we can use it in LT. So that is a very good uh, feature in LTE. We can use actually any kind of bandwidth. The second one is the HARC Hybrid Automatic Repeat Request. So this is the more accurate functions for the data. Uh, uh, like it is been explained already, these are the packets. Uh, so when we receive the packets with errors, we get a non-acknowledgement. And again, the packets are sent and we get uh, the error free packets so this is normally earlier we uh, familiar about ARQ now it is hybrid ARQ HARQ hybrid automatic repeat request so this is very sensitive towards radio conditions so those things will discuss later so HARC is the second radio interface function the next one is the modulation techniques that is 64 QAM this can be implemented in both uplink and downlink so we can have better throughput so uh, normally we transmit six bits per symbol in 64 qam so this is a very good feature for better throughput in lt system so moving on to the next function that is fast link adaptation so in every tti in every transmit time interval we can actually change the link and uh, the modulation quality so that is called the first link adaptation uh, we can get the feedback the channel quality indicators accordingly that change the uh, link adaptation and modulation uh, schemes and everything the next feature is the MIMO multiple input and multiple output we are having multiple antennas uh, in transmitting and receiving ends as you can see this may be the no B this may be the UE or maybe this may be the no B or this may be the UE so currently 2 cross 2 MIMO is very popular, 4 cross 4 MIMO is also there that is with advanced features. So we are having multiple transmit and multiple receiving antennas which again helps in better throughput in LT system. So this is a very important feature. So the next function will be advanced scheduling so which is again dependent on time and frequency domain both. So that will be discussing detail in, in the next course. Uh, and the next function is uh, actually the technique behind uh, the radio interface that is the OFDMA uh, technology or the OFDMA and uh, in uplink we are having uh, different schemes that is SCFDMA so OFDMA the detail will uh, discuss in a different uh, chapter so these are the two different techniques in uplink and downlink in LT system so this is a little bit of explanation of the OFDMA, DMA, how it works. These are the subcarriers, uh, which is normally 15 kilohertz, and uh, this is the 
you know the time and frequency domain both have been explained here uh, we'll be explaining the detail in, in, uh, in the next chapter for the time these are the basic functions to understand we'll go again the scalable bandwidth is supported in LT different bandwidths can be used the hack hybrid automatic repeat request for better throughput the modulation schemes that is the 64 qam supported in uplink and downlink both the fast link adaptation the mimo advanced scheduling according to time and frequency domain and the OFTMA technology in LT so these are the important features in LT radio thanks for watching thank you so much if you have any questions uh, you can always put in a, a remarks column I'll be uh, try to explain if you have any any more questions on radio interface features and I'll be answering to your queries. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks a lot.